Hey, and welcome to the seventh episode of Let's Play 3079. Uh, that I scared you guys by just uploading that Skyrim video earlier. Uh, what you have to understand is I have, was planning to do both these videos today, not just the Skyrim one. And uh, the Skyrim videos, I don't know if you've ever worked with them, take forever to render, especially when they're high definition and they're high quality. So the Skyrim video took an hour and a half to render, and then an hour to upload, and then another 30 minutes to process on YouTube, and then I've been and then I had to leave, but I'm back now, and that's why I'm making this episode. Uh, and for those of you who didn't watch the Skyrim episode, the reason why I've been gone is because uh, the week before last, I was uh, very busy and uh, had a lot going on, and then this past week, I've been deathly ill. So if I'm coughing and I sound weird throughout this video. That is why. So, without delaying it for you guys any longer, because I know you guys have really been looking forward to this, here we go. If you remember when we left off, uh, I had gotten into this desert area that you see here, and, oh, hello, artillery ship, and was getting my ass kicked left and right because the things are so much stronger than I am. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get Compass 24. This is about the opposite way or no, this is about the same way that we were heading in the last uh, video. So I'm going to turn around, I'm going to try to get the hell out of here before I get my ass kicked even more. I've lost all my uh, items from dying so many times here. This uh, area is just a little bit over my character's skill right now. <sighs> there have been uh, many patches, but I haven't been keeping up with them, so I don't know what all is added. I can tell that the character animations have been made to look that's blocky. If you can see this guy's heads and feet and hands, they're all kind of rounded at the edges. Let's kill this. Let's see if I can get this done. Kill this thing. Probably not, considering I'm not doing any damage to him. There we go. Hopefully I'll get his weapon, and that'll get me enough protection to get out of here alive. If only this douchebag did not have an anti-gravity pack. And he's dead. And there's our loot. Let's see, what is this? Ah, oh, cool, a sniper rifle. That's not going to be too useful when we're just running around. Lost my heading. Compass 51. So, yeah, do it this way. <sighs> Gotta keep drinking so that I don't die, basically. I'm um, hearing the demon noise now. Which, as always, scares the shit out of me because he's invincible until I can find another commander so I can do this next, uh, or do the quest to get the demon smiting sword. Oh, here we have a Neander. Let's see if we can snipe him out. Insufficient energy. Oh, that's nice. So I have this rifle. I don't have enough energy to use it, anyways. But we will go try and kill him because he has a sword. And that looks like it would. And that sword would be very useful if I could only talk. If only. Oh, look at that. I guess that green thing could have been a force field? I have no idea. Kicking his ass. He's not really touching us at all. Which is good, because when you want your enemy to never touch you. And he's dead, but no loot. Always disappointing. There's the demon. Seemingly, the, the demon um, pool is, uh, seems to have been tweaked down a lot. The demon is just killing everybody. Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, as I can see correctly, if I can see correctly, coming up on some green land, which is a good sign for us, because that means we're getting out of this high-level zone. And yes, it seems we're... Oh, well, I guess now would not be a good time to type in the console command. And I'm completely frozen. This is interesting. Okay, that's weird. It just froze me there before finally releasing me. I'm still getting pulled around a bit from the demon. And I really wish that we could destroy buildings. Just blow a hole in the wall rather than having to have a keep code. Maybe you can. Now, I don't know, but I don't have any guns that would probably do any damage to that building. Okay, so that leads to more desert. There we go. Here's a Neander. Hopefully, since we're back in the grass area, it'll be a, a easier to kill level. Oh, 
all these humans are like really large compared to what I'm used to. Come here, sneak attack is literally my meander, so answer my uh, question, or my hope for this being back to a low, uh, lower level area. What is going on? This demon stuff is really annoying. Um, no, it is not a lower level, which I was hoping for. That's okay, just keep killing shit. And I apparently can't hurt this guy at all, so I'm going to run. Which seems fine, I guess uh, I'm about to die again. But I'm guessing that maybe, or I'm thinking that maybe if you hold down the spacebar you jump higher in certain situations? I have no clue. I guess not. Okay, here seems to be a smaller Nander. Let's try and kill it. It's good to see that the game though has been uh, actively being updated. A lot of indie games, they get started and they get some alpha funding and then the developers just, they pull the plug and quit with once they get a little bit of cash. So, can't really do much damage to him, but uh, that's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That was pretty funny. He just turned around and just bitch smacked me right there. Um, strange. Okay, we want to head away from the desert. That is where shit kicks our ass. Ugh, sorry. Oh, and always good news to see that there is a giant artillery ship hovering above. Maybe it's humanoid. I don't know. If the humans have their own artillery ships like that. But, um... Actually, that might be human, because I'm pretty sure that just fired on... No, that's firing on humanoids. <laughs> you can see in the... You can see how fast that ship just devastates anything that's unfortunate enough to get caught in it. Really awesome features if you could buy those, or perhaps craft them. That would be awesome to see. Uh... <laughs> Here the terrain's really hollowed out from that. So I don't want to get touched by him. Not that it matters, I don't have anything valuable. This guy's got a grenade launcher. Serpentine pattern, always effective. And we will punch him. Nope, he's also a very high level. Wow, the game does not love me. Went through quite a period of being successful in the earlier in the episodes, like I think it was three and four and five, but now everything seems to be going kind of downhill for me as I keep getting completely destroyed. But maybe uh, there's difficulty settings or something like that I'm not aware of that might have been introduced, and the game might have it on a difficulty, a higher difficulty by uh, default. Don't know. Maybe I'm just back to sucking. Maybe it's because I'm sick right now and I'm functioning with basically a lack of sleep for the whole last week. Um, really, as much as I wanted to go get away from that starting area, area, Lord, I really wish I could find my way back to it right now because the starting area was easy and it had stuff that I could actually kill and therefore get loot and money. Because. Uh, when you die, you also lose money. We saw that in the last episode. This guy is an asshole. Also level 8. See, everything's just level 8. But maybe that's because I'm level 10. Maybe, uh, they've got a, like, Oblivion-style environment going on where the environment levels with you. But, um, <laughs> that would be my face. I can't really see now, considering the whole screen is black, or red. And I'm dead anyways. Go ahead and reboot. Always useful. Ah, oh, cool, and there's another demon somewhere out here. I can hear him. Let's see if one of these people is a traitor. Because that would be very helpful. But not as concerned about uh, the traitor, even though it might be one. Can't tell from the texture. No, it's not. It's... Everyone's got anti-gravity packs, but me. Why am I stuck on the ground? It's not fair. You are not nice. 
Stop killing those people. Stop being level 8. I don't like that. What, what is this? What is this? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, that's the human boy. Alright, yeah. Fuck you, asshole. Asshole. God, I can't even I cannot speak. And I'm dead. Again. What is that? Four times this episode? I'm just so skilled, I should go pro with this. Okay. Everything's quiet now, because I died. Thanks to the death feature that kills everything around you when you die. Or, more like, despawn, despawns them. Okay. Not sure if that's music or demon noise. But it's kind of creeping me out. Nope, it's demon. Okay, I'm not pressing the keyboard. Okay, actually, I think that was just keyboard ghosting. That time, considering I was able to cancel it by pressing the direction I was going in. Uh, let's try and kill this thing. I really feel bad because you've waited so long, and then this entire episode has just been me getting my ass handed to me. Deserve it, blah, blah, blah. Once again, I cannot talk. Deservedly so for making you guys wait. This is karma. This is video game karma at its finest. Or should I say at its worst, since it is deciding to screw me over so much. Oh. Die. Asshole. I'm punching you in your asshole right now. Now I don't know what I'm punching, but I'm punching your head. Now it's your crotch. Now I'm going to be punching your asshole. I am donkey punching the shit out of you. Still, I'm not quite able to hurt him whatsoever. As you can see, his health is fairly steady, the same amount. So I'm gonna run. Maybe try and kill some of these two level. Oh, it's level ten, but I was actually able to damage him. Okay, looks like that was a one-time thing. God dang. Lovely. Okay, guys, being the sixth or seventh time I've died. Um, I'll call it here. We're at about 12 and a half minutes. So hopefully this next episode I won't get my ass handed to me quite as much. Look forward to some short videos, more Let's Plays, and hopefully some game reviews in the future. Really trying to bring you more content. I just need people willing to help me bring more content. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and sorry for the delay.